used as an emulsion uh, in various cosmetic uh, drug, uh, sorry, cosmetic products. And we found that only the outer part in apple, they have terpenic acids. These terpenic acids also have very effective bi biological activity uh, towards uh, cancer. Uh, moving to next, the citrus waste. Uh, citrus waste, the outer cover contains uh, carotenoids, which are very important biotic compound for uh, uh, drug development. So we can say that these uh, utilization of these onion, apple, and citrus waste, solid waste biotic compounds is very essential and for very important for drug development. We studied different bi biological activity like anti-cancer and uh, in silico enzyme innovation study, and we published all this data in very good impact factor. So, uh, so this is about the utilization of various food waste, fruit waste and food waste bacteria compounds. Moving to next, we also studied. So in first project, just we studied in vitro uh, um, uh, cancer study, but next we targeted uh, the cancer cell cycle and also the different protein which are involved in cancer development, uh, like BID, BCL2, capsules. Uh, these are all, uh, you can see the protein expression here. These are very important pro proteins which initiate the and progress, help in progression and growth of tumor. So if we target these all proteins and we, we can see the expression pattern, beta actin uh, uh, used as a, like a, a standard protein and the all other proteins like these are all anti, anti apoptotic proteins which are useful in apoptotic pathway. Apoptosis is like pro programmed death cell in cancer. So we have to see the apoptosis by using uh, flow cytometry. And we used saffron byproduct, uh, soybean okra, like soybean waste, and here also onion. Uh, in road, uh, red onion, we found a special compound that is spiricide, and now uh, we are going to patent this uh, compound. This is like very novel compound, spiricide, and it's very effective against uh, different uh, cancer like, like MCF7 and HELA, the like breast cancer and cervical uh, cancer cell. And we found the these all drugs are very effective uh, to induce apoptosis. So
हेलो शिवराज मध्य मध्य ब्रेक होता है कहीं तेरे यहाँ से प्रॉब्लम ही तो है कहाँ कहीं सर मेरे ऑडिबल एंड हाँ यह सावज़ ये तो है प्रेजेंटेशन है जिससे ओके सर ओके ओके आई डोंट नो एक्चुअली सॉरी सर लक्ष्य करने की क्या प्रॉब्लम है एक्सट्रीमली सॉरी एक्चुअली ना 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 ये सब देर इस देखने का प्रॉब्लम है तो तरह तरह मित्र बोल रहा है रिगार्डिंग इंटरनेट सो लाइक मूविंग टू नेक्स्ट स्लाइड मे आई ऑडिबल सर यस यस निले सर गो हेड ओके ओके Uh, so naming, uh, moving to next slide if you see the saffron by product uh, so i've been uh, by product and uh, red onion skin so we found uh, one uh, very excellent compound from uh, red onion and we are like going to patent this compound because this this compound spiroside is very effective against uh, hela cancer cell line and we studied also uh, we are going to make uh, the bio um, uh, nanomaterials by using these uh, uh, onion bacteria compounds uh, by using different uh, bio material formulation so if you see all this uh, technique like apoptosis and uh, genotoxicity also we studied the genotoxicity of these compounds as we know that uh, we have to check whether these compounds or these formulated drugs are only targeting to cancer cell or normal cell because for drug selection that is very important uh, for even in clinical trials these parameters are very important to check whether your compound is effective against cancer cell line or normal cell line so for that uh, it's important to check genotoxicity toxicity and cytotoxicity so cytotoxicity in case of uh, cancer cell line uh, there are two kind of methods uh, like ic50 value and cc50 value ic50 value we have to check the concentration of drug uh, at 50% level in cc50 value the cytotoxic uh, cytotoxicity uh, concentration of particular drug so this is all uh, like extraction of bacteria compounds and they are uh, targeting different protein in the ca cancer pathways and next one is cell cycle we have to check whether our compound is targeting particular cell cycle as we know that for cell growth or cell uh, cell, cell regulation cell cycle regulation is very important for cell growth so there are different phases like g g0 g1 g2 uh, s phase and m phase that is um, uh, like synthetic phase uh, then mitotic phase so we have to target these uh, uh, cycle cell cycle if our drug is targeting particular uh, uh, cell cycle in the cancer cell so ultimately it can uh, uh, it can uh, like uh, deduce the uh, cancer cell uh, growth and uh, progression so this is all about the different bacteria compounds and their cancer cell and effects so as as we uh, discussed uh, we know that for effective drug delivery uh, important is uh, nanomaterial synthesis and biomaterial synthesis so next uh, paper we synthesize uh, some bacteria com uh, we combine two bacteria compounds like uh, curcumin and uh, mycophenolic acid we can see that mycophenolic acid is very strong anti cancer uh, compound extracted from uh, fungus but this drug have some cytotoxicity and having higher metabolism but with reduced bi less bioavailability and ph pharmacodynamic dynamic action so we have to increase its bio bio uh, bioavailability and solubility so we used combinational therapy that is called as combining two drugs by using nanomaterials so you can see that the cyp uh, the uh, chromosome uh, like the cyp450 uh, uh, this enzyme is responsible for metabol metabolism of uh, mycophenolic acid if we target combine uh, curcumin and this drug uh, the metabol metabolism of this drug is reduced because curcumin acts as an inhibitor of this cyp450 enzyme Uh, with increase uh, like increase metabolism and biology and pharmacokinetic uh, action we then we synthesize nanomaterial which are having less than uh, 200 uh, size less than 200 nano micrometer that is very important for any uh, drug development it should be below uh, 200 basically 300 also acceptable in various uh, uh, drug development and uh, by industry then moving to next we have to check the drug effect and cytotoxicity already discussed what in by cytotoxicity and drug effect by using different cancer cell line so uh, by using animal study you can see that these are different uh, uh, tumors so we have to check tumor size by uh, administration of our drug uh, like first you can see the control then free uh, curcumin then free uh, mycophenolic acid and combine 
you can see compared to first three uh, tumors, the fourth one is reduced one because the combination therapy is effective against these uh, uh, cancers, uh, cancer cell uh, tumor. But if you comp compare with the last tumor size, it is effectively very less because the nanomaterial synthesized by using these two drugs are very effective for reducing the tumor size. So this is about the tumor size and accumulation of drug. The, uh, you can see the drug is accumulated maximum in the uh, liver and uh, with reduced tumor. So we can say that the combinational therapy by using mycophenolic acids and curcetin is an effective therapy for uh, this uh, breast cancer cell line. So here uh, we can see that they have higher uh, cancer cell uh, cytotoxicity with anti-tumor efficacy. And we can, we can say that this uh, combinational therapy or co-administration of two drugs by using nanomaterials is effective for increased biology with therapeutic efficacy and safety. So we published this also in nanomedicine journal. Also, we selected different plants like ashwagandha, then uh, one plant from uh, Mongolia. So these are one, like ashwagandha is from India. And we used subcritical water extraction. We know that there are different extraction methods like solvent-solvent extraction by using different solvents. But as we are working on uh, like animal cells, we have to check the uh, toxicity of these uh, solvents. For that, the green extraction methods are very important. That is uh, the uh, solvents which are having less cytotoxicity and which are very effective for uh, drug development. So here we use subcritical water extraction, means that here, increasing the temperature of water we extracted by two compounds from ashwagandha. So here you can see vitaminophyrin and all uh, vitaminocytes we extracted from ashwagandha and we found that these subcritical water extraction produce enhanced uh, uh, bioactive compounds and along with enhanced antioxidant, antioxidant and enzyme in inhibitor activity along with the anti-cancer effects. So next moving to COVID, as we are familiar with uh, the current situation of the world, uh, the corona and COVID, so we are targeting different in silico drug targets for this COVID uh, virus. So you can see that the important is uh, there are different uh, interleukins and interferons. Some interferons are very important for targeting uh, this virus cell. But if there is a like inter interferon load or it is called as uh, the uh, particular uh, interferon load or cytokinin load, sometimes this cytokinin loads is very harmful for human body. So we checked whether these like different interleukins and uh, interferons are targeting different cell lines in our normal body cells. So also lung cells. So these all parameters were checked and we published this paper in uh, cytokine and growth factors. So this is about like current research and also like uh, the past research and future, future research. So next, moving to next, as we know that Ayurveda is a very ancient um, traditional medicine. So in China, also in Korea, they are working on different traditional medicines. As we are familiar with Ramdev Baba, they are just utilizing the different medicinal plants for drug development and they are earning a lot of money. So as a scientist, we have also think what actually the tradition medicine, what the like previous, uh, like the old era or the like Ayurveda or the different, uh, uh, the, even you can see the in street, we can found there are people, those are selling some traditional me medicine, even the way this. In old days or previous ancient days, the people, they are just following the uh, Vedas and Vedas for drug development. So I want to combine these two parameters, like ancient, uh, uh, exploring ancient herbs for novel drug development. So we decided to formulate. Uh, first, we have to gain the knowledge from uh, the Ayurveda and the, uh, like, uh, the Vedic peoples, and then extraction of active compounds and their formulation of nanomaterials and then uh, cancer cell death. So moving from ancient um, uh, medicine to modern med medicine. Why this medicine is important? Because as we know that conventional anti-cancer drugs, they have a number of issues like poor solubility, short bl blood circulation. So if you inject the drug, if your drug is not penetrating to the, your uh, blood barrier, so the cell has uh, some barriers, like uh, uh, our drug is moving through the blood. If the circulation is not proper, then there is no use of uh, for such kind of drug for effective drug delivery. So also lack of selectivity, then reduce the biology, then high toxicity. 
So these are all different issues re related to conventional methods. For that, we are going for nano. So from conventional to modern. So that is called as nano medicine, development, development of nano medicine, which can come through or come through from these all issues. And we can see that along with this nano carriers, the drug is effectively uh, like delivered and with targeted cancer cell line, minimizing the exposure to healthy cells. So you can see that this is uh, called as the targeted drug delivery. Uh, this is cell cycle target and apoptosis and how the cancer is progressed. First, how the drug is activated on the particular cancer cell line and how the different proteins are responsible for the apoptosis and uh, uh, cell cycle. You can see there, there are different uh, like uh, phases from starting from the G1, G, uh, G2, EM phase and synthetic phase. So we, we want to target these biopsy compounds from conventional uh, knowledge to modern knowledge with the cancer drug development. So as, as I discussed, also we want to preserve biodiversity. So we started uh, hero root culture. So this is very simple method. Just we have to select the explant from uh, different medicinal plant and we have to use uh, like uh, agrobacterium rhizogenes, which used for the uh, hero root culture formation. We are inducing this uh, uh, first tumor in the explant and then antibiotic treatment. This is all process and then extraction of bacteria compounds, then fermentation. So this can lead to preserve the biodiversity and also with an enhanced targeted uh, production. For example, there are two kinds of compounds, untargeted and targeted. So this technology is very important. So here we divided our work in four parameters, A, B, C, D. First, enhanced production. Second, formation of nano carriers or nanomaterials. Third, uh, targeted drug, drug delivery by using biomaterials. Biomaterials already discussed like different proteins, uh, peptides, uh, lipids. These are like, yeah. encapsulate all these uh, bioactive drugs in a nanomaterials and we can uh, focus on Hello. 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 Can uh, please uh, please uh, mute uh, mic. I think someone is uh, started talking. Hello. So this is our. Hi. Can I start now? Yes, sure. Uh -huh. So uh, these four like different areas, which uh, we are targeting different for is like first hero root culture for enhanced production of active compound. Next development of nano carriers or nanomaterials. Next development of biomaterials. And lastly, targeting different uh, like activities like anti-inflammation, enzyme inhibition, anti-cancer, animal studies. And finally, we are going for the clinical trials. So already we published all these papers in different uh, like uh, journals, like trends in biotechnology, uh, nanomicrolators, even uh, like like communication biology. So this is all about the our work. So moving to next ginger, this is very simple hub we are using daily in our cuisine, like a preparation of different dishes. So we extracted bacteria compounds from ginger and we studied uh, the effect of ginger bacteria compounds on xanthan oxidase. This is published in industrial crops products. So these are different uh, like publications we produced uh, by using different fruit and uh, uh, food products. So also we are targeting uh, different nematocidal activity uh, in agriculture field. So we can we, like, here we utilize different parts of neem that is neem leaf, bark, flower, and seeds, and we prepared one polyhedral formulation and we found that this polyhedral formulation is effective to control different nematodes. Uh, which are uh, very uh, like uh, dangerous for plant growth. So we studied the neem back to uh, by, by back to extracts for nematocidal activity. Also, we extracted different compounds from uh, different rice, like unpolished rice, uh, glutinous rice. So if we compare all these rice varieties, we can select which rice is good, for, uh, healthy or good for human beings. So considering all these parameters, we can see that unpolished rice is very important nowadays like there are different techniques and processing methods in industry they are just they are polishing the rice or they are uh, give they are give, giving shining to the food products but instead of going for shining and all things 
we have to use the traditional food products which are unpolished and having better uh, composition of bacteria compounds. So we studied the antiplatelet activity. Uh, that is very important for uh, like if, if somebody is having uh, like dengue. So antiplatelet count is like decreased. For that, we have to check the antiplatelet anti activity. And we found that these bacteria compound extracted from uh, unpolished polished rice, that is gallic acid and ferulic, are very effective against antiplatelet activity. Then also soybean uh, waste, we studied the genthon oxidase inhibition pattern and uh, different uh, biofluorinates from, and we published in food bioscience. So this is all about my research and how we can uh, do research by using different uh, like areas like nanotechnology, biotechnology, uh, microbiology, even so agriculture and all things. So, so regarding concerning uh, like mostly uh, the audience is like students from life science uh, of school of life science. So this is like opportunities for life science students, maybe biotech, maybe botany, zoology. We can join different biotech industry uh, like microbiologist uh, as a microbiologist, as an animal expert. Also joining with uh, national and international companies, uh, biosector. There are large uh, like corporate producing drugs like enzyme, vaccine production, cosmetic, drug development, biopharmaceuticals. As we know that this uh, like COVID, uh, this is very good example that COVID expanded more possibilities for all the life science students, for uh, uh, life science scientists to getting good opportunities and career development. This is about all opportunities in different, like you can go for national or multinational biotech industries, or you can just select your career in research and development by uh, like um, going to the PhD or postdoc and all things. Also, there are different fellowships in India or in China, in Korea. You can see the DST, DBT, there are different funding agency in like Korea, NRF National Research Foundation, Korea, then China, the cash fellowships. So even USA, there are Fulbright fellowship. There are different kind of fellowships. Just you can join our Facebook group we created in Facebook regarding this fellowship. So after like graduation or after completion of your degree uh, as a master student, you can join as a PhD, postdoc, scientist or faculty. You can also start your own business by like formulating different biofertilizers or also improving the agriculture products like agri uh, chemicals, uh, biofertilizers, also you can access uh, soil health management. So this is also like uh, developing ourselves as a uh, businessman or entrepreneur for by using life, uh, life, uh, life science skill. You can also work in food sector uh, companies or food, food sector uh, areas because nowadays the main concern is food security and food hygiene in India also and food uh, lifespan. So you can also work as a food scientist or uh, also develop some functional food by using some uh, research and uh, some development of some industries. So this is all about, so these are the like, uh, what are the job opportunities area for a life science student? You can go in teaching uh, like as academic teacher or faculty member, then research as a scientist or as a postdoc, as a PhD student, then pharma sector, different pharmaceutical companies, food processing industry, then bioprocess industry, agriculture industry, as I discussed, you can produce biofertilizer or also soil health and all. Or you can set also your own project because nowadays the different government funding agency, even some private companies are there ready to give some uh, own setup. For example, cultivation of medicinal plants, also uh, providing some uh, uh, services uh, to the industry. Uh, this is all about the job opportunities for life and students. So these are the fellowships in India, like CSR, DBT, UDC, DST. I think all you are familiar with these fellowships. Uh, concerning to the China, there is a like postdoc fellowship. You can just uh, uh, like search different professors and you can uh, connect with the professors and even uh, different researchers. Then cash fellowship, this is for PhD. Cash president international fellowship, this is for postdoc. They have like very good funding from the China government, also Korea. Just here, I'm enlisting the India, China, Korea, because I worked in India, China, and Korea. So these are different funding agencies. I am familiar with these all funding agencies like NRF, KRF, KGSP, and Brentpool. So other fellowship, if you want to uh, know uh, details about other fellowship, just join our group on Facebook, group, Facebook, and you can find there are different opportunities all over the world for life and students. So this is all about my research, uh, then career opportunities, and how, like, making collaboration with different institutes. 
so first uh, thanks to school of life sciences uh, uh, director mulani sir for this opportunity also i am very thankful to uh, kamble sir he is always with me like we are daily like having communication regarding research and all the development so i, I am also thankful to all the respected uh, faculty members because I, as a student i started my career <coughs> career and i developed myself with the help of uh, the guidance from all the faculty members like suroshi sir patak madam kadam sir bosle madam uh, uh, chawan sir all like gyana sir mohan sir and uh, actually today i am missing uh, like my phd guide uh, kobrade sir yeah like he was a very good mentor for me and during my career so thank you for all your listening and thank thanks to all thank you very much suraj nile sir ha sir it is, it is uh, very good very good you have developed uh, such a nice uh, you know uh, a school of research it is very good hmm? thank you sir thank you sir it is a good inspiration for our uh, new students okay thank you okay. sir thank you sir i i hope they they will also do a similar thing hmm? sir now sir kamle uh, sir take minute sir sir काय काय तरी त्या मुलांना काय डिफिकल्टीज आहेत का बघा सर त्यांना काय क्वेश्चन आन्सर ओके लेट मी थँक फर्स्ट दोस हु आर नॉट द पार्ट ऑफ स्कूल ऑफ लाईफ सायन्सेस स्टील दे हॅव जॉईन दिस टॉक इंटरेस्ट बद्दल धन्यवाद मुलांना तुम्हाला काही प्रश्न असतील तर विचारा दिस सेशन इज ओपन फॉर अ डिस्कशन हॅलो सर येस हॅलो हा सरप्राज येस हा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थँक्यू सो मच सर सर माय सेल्फ सरप्राज पटेल अँड आय एम स्टडिंग इन एमएससी बॉटनी सेकंड इयर सो मी रामानंद तीर्थ युनिव्हर्सिटी सर माय क्वेश्चन इज कॅन द पॉसिबल ऑफ मिक्स क्रू ड्रग अगेन्स्ट कॅन्सर डिसीजेस अँड हाऊ द मेकॅनिझम टेक्स प्लेस ॲज कम्पेअर टू प्युअर ड्रग ॲज आय डिस्कस देयर इज अ वन थिअरी कॉल्ड ॲज कॉम्बिनेशनल ड्रग थेरपी बिकॉज यू नो सम ड्रग्स आर व्हेरी हायली टॉक्सिक टू द सेल and some drugs are less toxic if we combine the properties of these two drugs we can make an effective drug delivery uh, already discussed for example kemtotesin is one drug is widely uh, like uh, widely used by scientists all over the world but the main problem is certain uh, genotro- genotoxicity of this drug but the nano material like biomaterial and nano materials and uh, now these opened the areas by formulating these drugs and combining two drugs Uh, in like old days the vaidya vaidya or in acid days the ayurveda uh, come uh, like folio herbal formulation is very effective so even you can see in china there is one uh, uh, medicine method pcm <coughs> traditional chinese medicine that is very important so just formulating uh, folio herbal formulation or com- combination of two drugs is very effective drug uh, for drug development yes sir yes sir and how mechanism that takes place What so kind of for, mechanisms? for example uh, as i discussed for example consider drug a is effective against cancer cell line and b is uh, inhibiting the certain toxicity of particular drug so both drug are acting on uh, cancer cell but one is acting on cancer cell and one is protecting that drug to affect on the normal cell so this is a mechanism yes, so we are right. protecting normal cell and we are targeting cancer cell so we are getting our target by combining two drugs Yes sir thank you so much yes. sir ha ah, yes sir rishikesh uh, sir uh, difference between uh, generic medicine and normal medicine generic medicine i am not familiar with that about that one <coughs> sorry rishikesh let me get you to this uh, answer see generic medicine or the commercial medicine so that basic difference lies in the trademarking only and if the trademark is uh, established one then the usually the prices are high whereas generic are those medicines which have same compound but no uh, trademarking as such next कामळे सर हा सर ते आता जेनेरिक मेडिसिन विच आर बिंग सोल्ड इन द मार्केट अंडर अंडर पंतप्रधान 
त्याच्यामध्ये मग त्याचे प्राईस त्याच्यामुळे कमी असतात का त्याचे प्राइसेस त्याच्यामुळेच कमी असतात कारण त्याच्या जाहिराती होत नाहीत कंपन्या मोठ्या नाहीत फक्त मॉलिक्यूल मात्र तोच असतो ओके बट स्टील इट हॅज यस यस निळे सर निळे सर सर म्हणजे ऍज पर माय नॉलेज की त्याचा ओनर किंवा त्याचं एक पेटेंटिंग असतं किंवा त्याची एक मक्तेदारी नसते कोणाची असं आहे जनरिक इझिली म्हणजे कंटेंट सेम असेल पण ते चीप तुम्हाला भेटेल इझिली कारण त्याला जेव्हा आपण ट्रेडमार्क किंवा पेटेंटेड असेल तर ते पर्टिक्युलर पर्सनला किंवा पर्टिक्युलर एज एजन्सीला तुम्हाला ते पे करावं लागेल त्यामुळे जनरिक मेडिसिन कम्पेरेटिव्ह चीप आहे मेकॅनिझम एंटीमायक्रोबियल ऍक्टिव्हिटीज कॅन बी वी सीन माय मीन्स एनी टाइप ऑफ माय माय मायक्रो मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑर द प्लांट एक्सट्रॅक्ट देन व्हॉट इज द रिझन वी हॅव टू गो फॉर द नॅनो नॅनो पार्टिकल एनी एनी रिलेशन इन बिटवीन द नॅनो पार्टिकल अँड एंटीमायक्रो एंटीमायक्रोबियल ऍक्टिव्हिटी हॅलो हॅलो कॅन यू हियर हां यस मॅडम कॅन यू हियर मी यस यस हां ऍक्च्युअली यू नो मॅडम Uh, there are two kinds of nanoparticle one is organic inorganic for, okay like for if you consider metallic non- nanoparticle so the, every metal or every drug they have antimicrobial activity uh, some instant like uh, depending upon its concentration every bioactive compound yes yeah. 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 to uh, delivery uh, for effective dr- delivery and enhanced activity we are using these nano particles as a carrier for the uh, drug development so what if you be enhancing yeah enhancing the effective and if you synthesize nano particles are nothing but uh, nothing but the using uh, the uh, drug concentration for example if you go for encapsulation method there, there is one method it is called as encapsulation of drug so in that we are encapsulating the drug in high concentration by using some liposomes so lip, liposomes are the nano particle but in the inside the that liposome we are just concentrating our drug so we are just carrying that drug <coughs> uh, surface of the particular uh, cell for example it may be bacterial cell or animal cell so for example liposomes they have hydrophobic nature and also the cells they have some receptors so there is a interaction between these two uh, cell line uh, like uh, lipid uh, materials because the cell surface right. also they have some hydrophobic interaction so there is a effective yeah, interaction between two connection. cell lines so we are utilizing that nanoparticle for effective drug delivery it's only for the drug delivery or enhancing the concentration of bioactive compounds by, by compounds the... yes yes only. and you uh, yes yes madam for uh, biomaterials and for if you want to develop some like uh, different other nanoparticles like by using some uh, quantum dots or uh, silicon these are also uh, used as a effective drug because you know the silicon and carbon these are the um, already uh, found in our body so biodegrade there are two uh, compounds uh, nanomaterials that is biodegradable and bioacceptable if our body is accepting particular uh, comp- uh, nanomaterial that is that is called as bioacceptable so if, if you uh, go some silicon by con- compatible uh, biomaterials these are also acts as a drug sir you are saying something organic and nft yes madam you are you are explaining like that no at first organic yes, yes. What, inorganic what yes 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 means what is the, what is actually organic and organic organic like getting. organic means like for example protein peptide carbohydrates yeah. uh, polymers simply oh, okay. these are originated Carbon from like an anim- yeah animals yeah. and inorganic likes all the different type of metals yeah. inorganic hello okay sir <coughs> hello yes 
sir anyone uh, sir anken konala kay vicharayche mulani sir मुलानी सर मैं जरा चार्ट सब मुलानी सर मुलान रिसर्च स्टूडेंट है अपने मध्य खूब सारे तुम्हारा का विचार हेलो अरे तुम्हारा कुछ जाए नहीं का फेलोशिप अटेन्ड कर बाहर देश जाए नहीं का विचारा का ही कस का प्रश्न का ही आज का प्रॉब्लम नहीं हेलो सर Yes, uh, sir, I want to ask uh, about the opportunities uh, uh, after PhD. Uh, already, you stated in one slide that uh, mm -hmm. there are uh, um, some funding agencies. Uh, yes, sir. Just uh, I want to uh, know that uh, uh, how should uh, if uh, if suppose I want to search for PDF uh, no. abroad. If suppose I want to start. Bar. Uh, okay. About uh, searching PDF, uh, uh, from where should I start? Actually, if uh, like I uh, when I uh, came to uh, Nanded in 2016 or 14, I discussed with uh, uh, like uh, Ganna sir, like he was director that time. Hmm. So f first, uh, uh, during your PhD, you should have at least uh, three to five papers as a first author. in yes. sci sci journals sci okay. so mm -hmm. that is very uh, like a little bit confusion what is by sci journal or sci or scopus okay so now if you concern like us uh, germany even uh, europe uh, europe and korea even japan china they mm -hmm. only prefer the sci uh, papers okay. science citation index so yes. at least you should go first publish at least three to five papers in sci journals okay. second some countries they are they are first they are asking about the uh, english score different like ielt ielt is very important yes, yes. Uh, but if you search uh, uh, some professors they have like own funding yes there is no no need uh, go, like having publication or english score because some professor they have lot of funding but there is no manpower if you consider the uh, like uh, the population of china population of korea here mm -hmm. they have lot of fundings but the population Depending upon the like manpower, India yes. they have like talented minds. So if you want to search, just uh, search in Science Direct. Uh, the uh, professor of uh, area, uh, okay. like for example, if you are research interested in particular topic, just search that kind of professor from different yes. country and just have a mail or communication with professor. Okay, sir. And you can get the PDF position. So these okay. are the like three four parameters you have to keep in mind during application. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yes. Anybody else? Patak, madam. Yes. Ah, it's a Patak, madam. Patak, madam, ah, it. Hmm. Kamal sir, ha yes, sir, can we uh, stop it here then? Okay, if there are no queries, uh, it is better we should uh, stop here. Uh, Over to you, sir. Please. Ha. Uh, Calculate the program by vote of thanks. Nilay yes, sir. So yes, sir. thank yes, th thank you very much. You are you, uh, our uh, SRT. Indian jewel in China. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you, sir. Huh? So Thank it you, is sir. very good. We are very proud feeling. Uh, now we will be having a NAC in on next month, possibly. 
on 8th 9th and 10th mm. okay sir if it is uh, asked to talk on uh, online so we will be very happy to speak uh, with you <coughs> during that time okay sir no problem we really really i feel uh, proud our school feel proud that uh, you are doing very good over there and yes, we are missing you but no doubt online we are there with you yeah yeah, yeah. yes and uh, on behalf of uh, school of life sciences <clears throat> and our university we are thankful to dr nile for uh, giving a very uh, informative talk to us to our students definitely it will inspire them to think a research in this particular line which is a new <clears throat> and uh, nowadays people are more uh, looking for ayurvedic medicine bioactive compounds secondary metabolites it is very good in even ayush india is also uh, preferring uh, research in this line <clears throat> yesterday only our prime minister uh, has uh, you know uh, stated about ayurvedic uh, medicines Yes, sir. So yes, sir. the day will come. We will have a good, uh, you know, research in this particular line. So we yes, are sir. thankful to you for sparing your valuable time and guiding our students. Mm. This Thank this you, will help us. So from the school, from the staff and the students, I am thankful to you for once again for very nice lecture. Thank and you, uh, as you must be knowing, Mohan sir was having Saturday lectures. so the, okay. uh, you are uh, we have started come with the help of kamlesh or kamlesh sir is taking lead in this line okay i yes, thank yes, I... kamlesh sir also for uh, okay. organizing this huh? sir, so i am in house <laughs> in house like, paper i have yes 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 so this is also necessary nele sir ami parat ekda saturday che seminar chalu kelele ahe and that is in the form of you are the second uh, guest in that so okay, we sir. thank you proud. thank you we feel thank proud you, and kamle sir has taken a lead in this line next saturday we will be having again a very nice lectures with some other guests okay thank so, you sir thank you very much very very, very nice thing with us thank hmm? you sir thank okay, you sir. Yeah, yes thank you. yes 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 kamle sir over to you oh, thank you all and uh, bye bye sir okay yes. thank you shuraj thank you very much and uh, and i i forget i forgot actually she, uh, nile sir you hmm. remembered uh, you remembered professor khobra gade sir we are yes. uh, feeling very sad for this we lost a awesome. very good scientist from our school really yes, yes. He, he was your teacher and a very good colleague doing very active research yes sir we lost a very good scientist from school of life sciences yes sir yes sir that okay, that thank I you sir remember 